Jeremy Paul. This from 108 yards. Oh, oh yeah, oh there goodness. we go. <laughs> Don't got to roll it when you do that. Hoop City at 11. Bit more aggressive off the tee here, giving himself this opportunity to attack this whole location, riding the wind, control the spin. And how about that from Jeremy Paul? April madness here in Savannah. How long are you? Into the green once he gets to the green. Yeah, clip that perfectly. That Excellent was pitch shot. Class. for birdie at 10. Oh, yes. The big man with a big putt. I have not seen anyone get one to go here at 10 and pitching the golf ball a lot over the last half hour. Downwind, downhill once it gets to the green and beautiful touch. How has he been scrambling these past four holes? Here's Trent Phillips at the 10th. Three birdies, three bogeys on his way out. That is really nice. Um, it's always an advantage to have that kind of help. Westmoreland, what a shot there. Nearly goes. Are you kidding? Kind of drives those wedges down. Helpful in the wind today. Westmoreland here at 12. Staring at it. Oh, and he should be straight at it to this tucked left hole location, wind whipping, and this is on a tremendous line. Does it have enough? Oh. Sure, sure it does. That nearly flew in the hole. We'll have to take another look at that. That is an excellent shot. But the ones you deal with in Australia are way meaner. Those crocodiles are nasty, aren't they? Saltwater crocs, is that right? Yeah, they're not oh, fun my. at all. Not as fun as this shot from Jeremy Paul, actually. Another beautifully flighted wedge shot. Controlled the spin. Bellow in the greenside bunker. Wow. How did he get it to come out that high, that quickly, and get it to stop like that? That was interesting. Coming from about 1 o'clock, if you're looking at it like a clock, This is on a beautiful line. Yeah, beautiful shot. How about those two shots on the par fives? Fantastic shot. Until now, what a putt. Great wedge shot. Fantastic wedge shot. Perfectly positioned to where he could get a very predictable read there. It is a scoring day. Isaiah Salinda here at the short par four fifth. For Eagle, yeah, right in the middle after an opening round, 75. Trying to get near the top of this leaderboard. A thumb injury the last year. Nice to see him playing some solid golf. Frankie Sappin has been tearing it up today. This for a birdie at 10. He is six under. Some movement on it once it hits the ground and grabs. Driving in this in very low. Looks to be a pretty good number. Oh, what a shot. Out of a divot. This is fourth shot. Look how far he has this back in his oh, stance. this is pretty cool. Really cool. Do it. Yeah. You are kidding. Absolutely no chance. Go back to Anderson at 14. This from 108 oh. yards, there's a ridge short of the hole. He needs to avoid it just on top. And just straight up the hill. No doubt about that. We go one. Someone found the bottom of the cup. Beauty. Really nice. Looked at the leaderboard, you saw Philip Knowles to nine under this just earlier. That's how he got there. And Mason Anderson's going to have Andre Gonzalez interview him on every hole if he had shots like that, right? Obviously coming off a substantial injury with his wrist and just a, a 
an amazing effort for him to be in contention here and an amazing pitch shot at the 18th. That is not easy. Excellent tee shot here at 16 from Anderson. See if he can take advantage. Way back there. Oh, yeah, he took advantage from 131. Nearly flies it in. He liked it, didn't talk to it. Birdie, one more look at that, James. Oh, fantastic shot. We've seen a couple nearly fly straight into the cup and just showing his expertise. Back nine is the easier of the two here as we go. This would be a great up and down for Sapp and from over the back of the green, Texas wedge. Yes, huge smile, great round. Go play for the boys. Just giving her a shout out. That is impressive to do. Here's Roy at 18. Look about impressive mustaches. Uh, that nice is shot. Beautifully weighted wedge shot here. That is a tough pin. Well, usually what you hear out of the Corn Prairie Tour when they're <laughs> trying to lose weight to play better. That's right. All right, Roy at 18. This is for a closing birdie. Looks really good. What a round of golf from Kevin Roy. Bogey free. I've already seen three eagles here at the fifth. Well, that sounded good. Easy now. Oh, great touch. Journeyman, PGA Tour and Corn Ferry Tour. Oh, and delicious wedge shot here for Knox. Beautiful. Well judged from Knowles in the hunt, as is Stephen Fisk. Fisk has struggled this season, three straight miscuts coming in to this event in their tight at the fifth. He would drop a shot, go back to 10 under. Philip Knowles playing alongside Fisk. This at the seventh in their tight would go on to make that and tie for the lead. One of three players tied for the lead through three rounds. All three in an unfamiliar position on the Corn Ferry Tour. Down the hill at seven. And would cash it for a birdie on these greens here at the landings. We've seen a lot of short putts missed. Talk to a couple players, and I think we're going to see a lot more of this, as we just saw from Oppenheim. Putts going in today. Here's Stephen Fisk. range downwind what a putt Stephen Fisk rolling it in Trevor Cohn no bogeys on the card today oh, that was spicy and a birdie for Cohn the sound into the bank with the spin and then makes it Roy after taking relief from a drain has the ball slightly above his feet and hits this right at it nearly went from the drain to the drain really really good shot there in there tight now Knowles for bogey that is a great putt oh, that's gonna feel like a birdie especially he had no chance of getting that third shot inside here's Cone has not made a bogey today and that will continue. Great save. Here's Goya at the 16th. Don't go right here. Oh, what a kick. I'll just go right there. <laughs> Set it there. Two feet from being in that greenside bunker. Do not waste all that hard work. OK. Beautiful birdie in the end. Wants to really grab this tournament with two hands just yet. Knowles, good look for birdie at 14. He gets that to go. Needed a birdie. Tough putt here. Down, then up onto the surface, and then very quick down again. That is so good. Just so good. Beautiful touch from Danny Walker in that final pairing. Here's Will Bateman at the last. Third shot, really good. Excellent, superb, dynamic, great wedge shot. Playing some solid golf in this third round. And closes it in style. Great, great finish for Will Bateman. Early in the day, 
tack on a couple birdies, you never know. Here's Knowles, a hole ahead. Beautifully done. Yeah, that Los Angeles Country Club hat on. Remember, he qualified for the U.S. Open there. Here's Knowles at 16, walking it in. We talk about getting back on track. But as you know, Cohen in some serious trouble at 18, so he's going to drop at least a couple of shots. What a golf shot here. A look out. What a day from Roy. Just hasn't had his best stuff, but's hung around and he's looked comfortable. A little bit into the green, just past it. What a shot. And now Philip Knowles, chance for the outright lead. Excellent approach. Curls it in, great birdie at the last, and what a finish for Philip Knowles. Birdies 14, 16, and 18. Currently in a tie for second, already has a solo second in the first event of the year down in the Bahamas. This just left of the hole, starting to feed back. Ooh, what a shot. Fantastic, in there to three feet. Close from Kevin Roy. Nice solid round of golf out of that final pairing after that sensational 65 on Friday. Seven under through seven, dropped the shot at the ninth, made birdie at 11. This at 14, long range for Eagle. Sure. Gets Kang to nine under on the day. Drives in the fairway bunker. I mean, this was a tough shot from a tough lie. Not a place you want to be from around about 101 yards. Just trying to get it inside 15, 20 feet, and he does better than that. Played really tough this week. This to get to 10 under on the day, right in the middle. And Jeffrey Kang making moves. Struggled early in the season. The highlights from today, this Rob Oppenheim at the fifth. I already made a couple birdies to this point, James. And landing a couple times off the green. Difficult short par four, and he has just been fantastic with that club in his hand. We've got plenty of players on the front nine, including Rob Oppenheim. He got off to a great start. Couple of birdies early in his round. 44-year-old journeyman. Continue the run. What a golf shot. Wow. 99 yards. This is a 54 degree trying to take off a little spin. Also on a really good line. Great shot. Beautiful touch. Constru controlled the spin to perfection. Well, that is something. 63, his best round in his Corn Ferry career. It is a way to play it. Hit them really hard, take the break out. I mean, obviously the nerves have to be in the right place. Here's Knowles. Oh yeah, what a shot. Do it. Oh, Knowles. Not gonna have to think about that one. Nearly a one for Philip Knowles. Back at the 14th. First time seeing Trevor Cohn on this Sunday. This for Eagle to get within one. How about it? What a time to fight back for Cone. Plus one on the front nine. Redmond. Long range birdie. Oh, this looks really good. Oh, Doc Redmond. Long range and in. And Redmond now with the outright lead. How about this back nine? Dropped a couple already on this side, trying to pick one back up to jump back into a share. That's just that, great putt. What a massive putt, considering two bogeys, <laughs> 10 and 13. Huge moment here at the 18th. McGreevy to tie Pock at 12 under in the clubhouse, and he walks it in. Big putt for Max McGreevy. 
excellent round of golf in these conditions. Beauty. Just what he needed. Here's Oppenheim for a two-shot lead. Great putt. What a wedge shot. One needs to fall in. Do it. Got one. There we go. Welcome to the party. The patience. He has waited a long time for this, and maybe that's what he needs. Looking somewhere in the middle of the green. This is at it and drawing. This is looking really good. Oh, what a shot. Wow. Aggressive. Might be the swing that wins in this golf tournament. What a time. Another player that's just struggling to get it inside the 20 feet circle. And he put a confident swing on it here. On a great line. Yes, he can. Fantastic shot from Roy. Finally giving himself an opportunity for birdie that Oppenheim has to look at in terms of the rear view mirror is this guy right here, Stephen Fisk. Front hole location, good opportunity here. That is nicely done. Now Philip Knowles waiting to get his day going here at 15, chance to get to 11 under, a good birdie there. <laughs> Just the third of his day, but he's made back-to-back -back birdies on 14 and 15. How good is that? What a golf shot from Fisk. Just about holds it for Eagle and the win. Doing exactly what he had to do. That'll be a tap-in birdie. He will join Oppenheim at 14 under. Will Bateman and company giving him knuckles. That's how good that was. He nearly just stole the tournament right there and then from Oppenheim. Wind is just stagnant right now. Just a low missile up the right hand side. This is high up the right side. Oh, wow. Monster tee shot from Fisk. Yeah, this came out a little bit fluffy. Does find fairway, though. That is just a terrible break. This is looking like it's right at it. What a shot. Right at it for Fisk. Going to stay up. Fisk ball's rolled over just a little bit, so he's probably looking to take dead aim as well. That he has leaking a little bit right. Needs to settle. Advantage Fisk. That is unfortunate. Gave it a good chance. And we're acting like he has to make it. Oh, just gassed it by. This is not over yet. That thing is still moving. Unable to convert it. So Fisk in with his par. Rob Oppenheim, tee shot. Oh, my. And Rob Oppenheim. A bogey on the par five, first playoff hole. And Stephen Fisk, the Georgia boy, now a winner on the Corn Ferry Tour. Well, that was incredible. 
Not what we thought we'd see at the 18th. Felt like Fisk was going to win with the birdie. That putt misses, and then Rob Oppenheim, five feet up the hill to extend the playoff. And that putt went baggy. So for Fisk, it's a win at the Club Car Championship at the Landings Golf and Athletic Club. What a finish. What a playoff.